Hey guys, so this is part two of the book haul, and I have ten books here. More to show you because, as we know, I have no control over the buying of the books. The first three books I bought at Barnes & Noble, and I got them for like 24 bucks, which isn't that bad. The first book, or rather like bound up of a bunch of books, is Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. And I have a few of these big Barnes & Noble books that they sell for like $7, but I saw this one and I really, really wanted it. The cover is super cute. It's all woodsy and fairy tale like Alright, the next two books are books that I have wanted for the longest time. One of them I've already read, but I just didn't own it, and that is The Giver by Lewis Lowry. As most of you guys, I read it in like 5th or 6th grade and haven't read it since, so I really wanted to pick it up so that I could reread it if I ever go watch the movie or whenever I watch the movie period. This next book is pretty much a classic and I wanted to read it for the longest time as well and it is Night by Elie Wiesel. I'm really excited to read this book and see what it's all about and possibly even read his other books. So after I finished at Barnes & Noble, me and my friends decided we would go to the Goodwill that's basically just a bookstore in my town and there I found about seven books and I would have gotten more but my friends think I have a problem and they made me put some backs. And the one that I was probably most excited to find was Holes. You guys, this is probably my favorite book, my favorite childhood book of all time and I don't own it, well until now. I never really wanted to buy it new because I've already read it and I kind of just wanted to have it. So when I saw it there for how much? This book was $3 at the Goodwill. So yeah, I picked it up. The next book is a classic and it is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. It's a classic and it was pretty cheap so I figured I would pick it up as I would read it eventually. Alright, the next book is Mercy by Jodi Pickled, and as I've said before, I really love Jodi Pickled's writing and I'm trying to collect all of her books. This is my sixth one that I have now. So there were like four of her books at the Goodwill and I figured I would show some self-control and I only bought one. So these next two books I was super excited to find because they are hardback and nearly perfect condition and they are A Thousand Splendid Suns and The Mountains Echoed by Colette Hesseni. This is the same author that wrote The Kite Runner which I loved so much so I was super excited to find these and they're, they're hardback and they're so perfect. Look at that and they're big. Alright so the next book is one that I have seen forever but I've never picked up and when I saw it there I just had to have it. And it is Shanghai Girls by Lisa C. So yeah, I'm glad to add this to my ever-growing TBR pile. This last book isn't a novel, but I bought it as a present for my uncle's birthday, which was this past weekend, and it is, and it is Elvis Presley Unseen Archives. It's this huge book filled with pictures of Elvis Presley and just little blurbs about his life and his career and stuff. And my uncle loves Elvis, so I figured this would be a really good gift. <laughs> There's pictures of like all of his movies and his music career and also when he was in the military all the way through his marriage. So that is the end of my book haul part two. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!